weight of medical debt is about to be lifted off the shoulders of nearly 50,000 New Jerseyans. It's not something that uh, that every state is doing. Governor Phil Murphy announced that qualifying patients will have some or all of their medical debt erased. The state says those who are either at or below four times the federal poverty level or have medical debt equal to at least 5% of their annual income will qualify. The state partnered with Undue Medical Debt, which will work with hospitals to purchase debt and erase it. It also leveraged more than half a million dollars in American Rescue Plan money. It's very appropriate that this is COVID money that's, that's being used here. Jeff Stevens of Newark-based Volunteer Lawyers for Justice says in his time serving clients and serving as a volunteer EMT, he saw clients' underlying health issues get worse during the pandemic. A lot of people who, it, who were reluctant to seek medical attention for underlying medical issues during the the worst uh, days of COVID for risk of exposing themselves to COVID and going to seek treatment or seek uh, hospital care. Out of the nearly 50,000 people who qualified, almost 18,000 had owned money to Prime Healthcare Hospitals, which has five locations in New Jersey, including St. Michael's Medical Center in Newark. It is something that uh, that we think is a solid step forward in our state. Now that some are seeing this burden removed, Eatontown-based credit repair expert Paul Oster says it's a chance for those families to tackle other debt they may have and improve their credit score. Let's not forget credit card debt has now reached its all-time high, along with the highest interest rates we've ever seen. Tackling medical debt has become a marquee goal of the Murphy administration. Last month, Murphy signed into law the Louisa Carmen Medical Debt Relief Act, which provides some protections against medical debt collectors. The state says qualifying patients will be receiving letters in the mail starting this week. For PIX11 News, I'm Jim Vassell.